here. Okay, whetstone. Okay. I like that start. I'm a fan of that. Let's get you two. Get some space in there. Um, let's roll. I will I will cop that. Okay, cool. Not a bad start, honestly. We should be able to win just from pure DPS alone, no matter what we go against. Honestly. Going against looks like a dagger with some a little bit of food, but yeah, we should just beat them because of DPS. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Um, let's go with uh let's get let's get some survivability. Survivability is always a good thing in this game. Oh, come back. <laughs> Can never go wrong with survivability. I will definitely I could get a customer card too. Just to combine it for the platinum customer card, but eh. A little bit a little expensive. Low key, a little expensive. Do we win this one? Looks like it. Hell yeah. Double sword? Is actually Oh, there we go to blueberry. Nice. Oh. Hero sword. Um, oh damn, you guys did not combine the way that I wanted you to. Um This is awkward. That works, right? <laughs> I just have to move it. I didn't want to lock anything because if I lock it, then nothing's going to combine, right? Um, let's, uh, we could put the blueberry there to make that faster. And then we don't really need space, so I'm going to get the garlic. Um, definitely, definitely get the garlic just to make the banana a little bit faster. I think that'll be good. Pretty much going against the exact same thing we just went went. It's a freaking poison build, but now we got a little bit more survivability and everything. You know, we should be good. Yes, sir. I'll take that. Thank you. And hero sword plus torch. Now we just need to fish for a health potion, which might not be too hard to get. I'm actually not going to get that because I want to fish for a health potion here. Um, let's keep fishing. One more fish. Aha. Okay. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Boom, boom. Let's move this into the fanny pack. Make that faster. Um, we can put that guy right there. Um, honestly, we could like just double down on that. <laughs> Have our bananas be hella fast for no reason. I think that'd be great. Going against shovel plus torch poison build. Wooden buckler is probably going to be our biggest thing here. Just because that 35% chance was in four damage in both of those. This is only doing five to six. That's doing two to four. Um, hopefully doesn't trigger too much. Damn, we only had, we, we almost had it. We almost had it. It's okay, though. It's cool. Oh, and we got the gloves of haste early. Let's go ahead and turn that into a mana potion. And we'll also cop this. Can't really put it anywhere yet. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. I'm going to, um, I'm just going to buy this. I could have sold the clover to get the acorn collar. Honestly, that might not have been a bad place, but... I guess with my current build, there's really nowhere I could put it, low-key. Um, but we'll be fine. That's going to be, what, three spikes? That's going to be our biggest upset. But we do out-heal him by a lot. He's do He does have forward regeneration, though, so that's the thing. Our health potion was used. We probably lose this, though, just because of spikes. He does not out-DPS us at all. It just freaking spikes is really good. Really, really good. Good game, though. And now we got the health potion. I'm mean, sorry, I mean a mana potion. And um, we can get some space here. We can buy you. Should we get the Crypto Crystal? It is on sale, and usually, you know, you see a corrupted crystal on sale, you kind of just got to get it. There goes our mana torch, and we got blueberries to feed the mana torch, so our DPS just went up by a lot. Um, Should we get the corrupted crystal? I, I mm, Yeah, I'll get it. It's on sale. It's on sale. Why not? I don't see a reason not to get it, so yeah, let's get it. Um... And yeah, all that's looking great. I like the way that looks. Okay. Oh yeah, we definitely lose this one. Uh, I mean, maybe stamina. Maybe he won't be able to hit us as much because of... Nah. Yeah, we... Shoo. Anytime you see a thorn, bro, you're just dead. But boom, there goes that. What should we buy here? We gotta be careful what we buy with here. So... We could get the Kappa Resilience in order to get the Kappa Discomfort. Because that's gonna help us a lot with reducing of damage. And then the... um. The 15% chance and then the healing, right? Um, or we can get a mana orb, which will feed our magic torch a little bit better. Because this is only every 3.5 seconds. But the mana orb is going to give us that mana a lot faster. And we don't really have enough. What do we use? No, well, no we need 13. Um, which we're going to be missing one if we sell this. I say for the sake of DPS, we probably get this. 
just for the sake of dps i think that's probably a better play and we could put it here that'll be good and then that can go there um actually no that can go there boom because that's three food right um we could even fit in another food item i just want this um i want this to try to be literally as fast as possible like this four food on it that's two that's two 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 okay that's looking great or i mean i could just put the gloves of haste on it like that is definitely another option i have so now it's even faster um maybe even have the gloves of haste on the corrupted crystal could be good i just don't know where to put this banana now <laughs> that's my only issue nah I, I think i keep it like this i think it's good and then let's actually put the corrupted crystal on the uh the sword i think that'd be a little bit better and let's just buy the space for the sake of buying a space why not roll and nothing good okay cool and next round we'll buy the cap of resilience in order to get that um the uh, cap of discomfort so now let's see what our dps does now that we have the mana oh 24 crit there 13 damage we're getting there we're getting there 11 to 14 there and a 12 to 15 damage there pretty damn nice and this is on sale oh yes let's buy you let's get you for space oh yeah baby there we go that's what i like to see that's what i like to see let's go ahead and get you now falcon blade it up um honestly i don't even care about the next round i just want to get my falcon blade before i have to uh redo everything i guess but getting a little bit of you know um lucky clover generation might not be too bad i suppose let's roll actually another blueberry i'll take it actually another blueberry might be good we need space though we're running out of space like crazy so he opted in for the uh the hero longsword actually and he's got double torches um interesting little build he's got here i'm actually gonna go a little bit slower here i want to see everything that's going to happen as far as like the mana generation goes and everything which looks like we can generate enough mana big critical there 24 right now doing 7 to 9 10 to 13 we should definitely be able to kill this guy just imagine once we get the falcon blade next round oh yeah there we go um let's see we could even get a book of light i mean we do generate enough mana in order for it to, uh in order for it to be used um let's rearrange pretty much everything here because i would like this to i want the falcon blade here i think the falcon blade being here is probably the best bet and then we could uh piercing arrow boom and then into a magic torch like so okay yeah i think that's great um we can even put our food over on this side as well which would probably be better i don't even need to put that there just for the sake of saving space that can go up there um oh no no no! we need something over here actually for the acorn collar acorn crawler's gotta go there and then we need something for mana orb because if i put the mana orb over here it's not going to hit both items or both weapons right so putting it here is probably best but then we also got two stars over here that's not being used so putting all the food on this side might be better actually or at least some of it maybe not all of it like we can maybe just split it up or something um we could put that there boom and then boom like so that works for that side and then for this side we could just uh well just so it can also be in a fanny pack only reason why i'm doing that um yeah th i think that's good we can eat, yeah let's get the second blueberry we can actually just put the blueberry there instead whoops eh, whatever that works yeah that works um and then let's get the protective purse i'm also going to get the stone skin potion even though i can't use it right now i feel like i'll be able to use it in the future if i can find me another potion of sorts so that's the only reason why i'm getting it because getting potions in general in your build is always a good thing um going against vampiric armor pretty interesting with nocturnal lock lifter double torch however our dps right now is pretty damn good and we got the mana to back it up as well so i'm not scared at all 
to be honest, um, we're doing what eight to nine damage, looking like a 16, 18 crit for each hit with the Falcon Blade. We probably need to work on our speed a little bit, um, and maybe even some stamina regeneration, as you can see there. Uh, we were out of stamina. Um, but now that we got our luck up, this guy is doing 12 to 13 damage. Just scaling with this is it infinitely scales, like it literally infinitely scales, right? Easy W, easy W. Let's ooh, a heroic potion could honestly be good. Um, let's ah, oh, damn. I say, yeah, let's get the let's just get that just to get it because I want it. We can sell the lucky clover, we don't really have to though to be honest i was gonna sell the lucky clover for the protective purse but we don't really really have to um and i believe i definitely want at least three bananas i think at least three bananas on the play would be good we need space though like crazy oh now this is a good build this is a build worth looking at and saying okay this is where i am all right we might actually lose against this guy because he's got bloodthorn he's got the um he's got the regeneration he doesn't have the super bonus arrow though so there's that um however that's uh, he's got a lot of dps on him and the game seems to be pretty tight but he's definitely gonna lose probably because of us using the book of light there i will take that um okay so let's buy the heroic potion um the protective purse and the banana oh and we got some space on sale that is actually perfect should we get pineapple I don't think we need pineapple. Let's just get the get another blueberry though. I'll definitely take that. So boom, boom. Um, we can also move this over by two. And honestly, we could just do this. Turn this into a stronger potion. And then we can put the blueberry here. That way we can do that. And then the protective oops. Big oops. Protective first can go just go there. I bet. I think that's great. I think that's great. I think that's great. So now we got our stamina um, generation with the bananas. Even if we get super low on stamina, I mean, we got the heroic potion on the play, which is good. So, yeah. And it'll also activate the stone skin potion with a little bit more survivability, which is good. Um, So, yeah, the faster that these weapons are, like our stamina generation isn't high right now. It's what a 0.4 or 1.4. Um, So it still might not activate since we do have three bananas on the field, but once we get those weapons going faster it's gonna use up a lot more stamina so that's why i'm getting the uh the little potions or whatnot um this is on sale so we might as well buy it let's also get space oh if i can find me another gloves the blood amulet can be pretty clutchy and the acorn collar could be nice nah let's not get the acorn collar we don't really need another acorn collar do we um we could use this on the book might not be too bad let's do this or actually since that doesn't work like that anymore um let's do that move that up and then honestly let's just put this down here why not and then the blueberry can possibly go here yes oh we could use this for the activation of the mana orb. i just realized that i think that's probably smarter a little something like this. And it's getting... Oh, I forgot about the Falcon Blade and the 30% faster. Why did I not think of this? Why did I not think of this? Falcon Blade is literally 30% faster. Okay. Um, so that's going to be good with the Book of Light. We should probably try to put more... Well, it's only got two slots open. Unless we move it up by one. If we go up by one, now we open up another slot. We could try to... I mean, we definitely generate enough mana, so having this blueberry up there isn't going to be the end of the world, right? What I want to do is add bananas into those slots. That's what I want to do, because the more bananas we have, the more stamina we can uh, work with, which is good. Like, even doing that, I feel like that's good, because that's 35%, that's 30% faster. That's equivalent to having three foods on that, right? So, I think that is good. And then we can move this down there to make it even faster. So stamina wise should not be an issue. We should not have a singular issue generating uh, stamina right now at all. Now we just need to 
increase the speed at which those things go holy crap double bloodthorn now this is gonna be scary especially since our stone skin potions probably aren't going to activate because we're just we're just generating way too much mana in order for them to activate as you can see our stamina is just like it's not even going down to three right now so stone skin potions aren't going to activate that might be a problem there goes our um book of life hopefully we can generate or hopefully these can get higher dps fast enough for the crits holy crap we just beat double bloodthorn i can't believe we just beat double bloodthorn should we get a second one why not bro like who's gonna stop me no one let's get it oh and we need this we actually do need this to put it here um is there a way for me to double down on well eh, it'll be fine <laughs> it'll be fine oh yes we need the bird let's get the bird birds is gonna help us out with speed so we can actually utilize that stamina potion we have interesting okay bloodthorn with the vampire gloves gaining that five vamp vampirism helping out that bloodthorn be a little bit stronger he's also got spike shield double pineapple dps is gonna be crazy but we got double book of life which is gonna help us out a lot that's gonna give us enough time for the falcon blade in order to uh for the magic touch or torch to buff the falcon blade which is gonna be really good first one is used and now we're tied there goes the second one and he should just die here honestly 30 damage 30 30 like there we go we'll take that thank you um uh, we really don't have space for this guy actually no it doesn't matter because that still is going to activate so yeah that's great putting it right there that is great i wish i could put it up by one um well i can actually just move this boom so now that's literally affecting everything that's important great so all that's going to be 40 percent faster in due time um and we can maybe well i think that's a little bit better um or honestly let's have it like that just so that the blueberries in there going 40 percent faster and then i don't really know where to put the rest of these items but i'm gonna put you here and then the, the other blueberry can literally just go there for no reason literally no reason um can i roll for space stamina sack can go up there which might not be too bad tbh so i'll reserve that and we'll also get the blood amulet next round holy build holy build interesting a bunch of burning coals 12 percent chance of gain plus six damage might not be too bad honestly on the falcon blade plus the fortune is great since they both double attack when creating holy build that is a build right there we're definitely gonna be needing i don't know why you have the fencing rape right here we're definitely gonna be needing these uh the book of lives with this build we still win but like this dude's build is actually pretty goaded we still win because of the book of lives but look at this guy's build the burning let's that's the 12 these are doing oh it never procced wow they never procced that 12 percent chance never proc imagine if it did though gaining that plus six damage this is a little bit more consistent the magic torch especially since the torch itself gains damage which is really good um but like imagine if those things procced though this one's doing what eight to 24 damage pretty damn crazy pretty damn crazy good game though good game i feel like the uh i feel like the book of light lights are really carrying us right now let's buy that finally gonna get the amulet um yo happy new year's uh to you as well Majibu. welcome back thanks for being here bro i appreciate that um let's also reserve you why not get a third book in life no reason not to we can also get another bird um and yeah i think that'll be great i think that'll be good going against oh that's what i want i need me a spectral dagger so their build is pretty much the same as ours except we have falcon blade and they just have a regular burning torch but the thing is they have the spectral dagger which we don't really have block like that so that's not really a big of a problem but he does have double dps on a magic torch while we only have a single dps so that's a thing um that's doing 10 to 12 8 to 11 hopefully our falcon blade can just be great we also got a book two books of life he's only got one book of life which is going to help us out a shiz ton right about now we should be taking a lead and we might even kill him here there we go big damage and he is he also didn't go crit by the way if he would have went crit his build would have been a lot better in my opinion we can now put this right here making everything a lot faster and we can cop ourselves the third book of life 
Um, I'm going to sell this clover just so I can roll. Fourth book of life. <laughs> Where am I going to? Oh, not book of life, but uh, fourth bird. Where would I even put you? Putting it right here would probably be dangerous. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Let's definitely do it. Definitely. You sub to the YouTube too? Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I hope you enjoy the content over there for sure. For sure, for sure. I appreciate that though. Thank you so much. Going against double thorn whip. Okay, he's definitely got the stamina potions. I don't know why the stamina potions aren't touching each other. Like he could literally just turn this 90 degrees in like, okay. That's a thing, but interesting. I don't know why he went double thorn whip. Does he, have, he does have the poison. Okay, okay. That might be why. Because he has the poison on him. Still though, double thorn whip? Like stamina juice is going to be crazy. You should have probably just went with the stone skin potion. Honestly. <laughs> I'll take that W though, bro. Thank you. Um, Let's go stamina sack here. We need one more gold. Um, Damn. Because we need to put it here. Which we need one of the... Uh, yeah, we need one of the... Yeah. Um, We can just... Let's just sell this. Because, like, why not? Yo! Need a frog. Um, damn. Yo, thank you for the follow, man. I appreciate that, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to my stream, and I hope you enjoy. I want to see the stamina um, potion be used. That's what I want to see. I still haven't used it <laughs> at all. What did I? Oh, because of the protect the purses. Yeah, I have enough protect the purses now for the stone skate potion to activate. Interesting. I'll take it though. This looks like a crazy poison build. He's got Pandomium with the Bloodthorn and Vampiric Gloves. He's also got his own uh, little uh, birdie. Um, interesting. Even with all this speed, we still haven't used our stamina potion. I mean, literally at a 1.8 a second stamina usage right now. Maybe the bananas are just that good and we don't need a stamina potion. We almost lost that, by the way. <laughs> this is the closest we have come to dying. This is the closest. 73 is the closest we have come to dying. 62 poison on us. Pretty damn crazy with a 3135 Bloodthorn. This combination is just too good. It's just too good. Literally just too good. The only thing we're missing, honestly, is a dagger on this other side right here for the, the, the magic uh, torch. That's the only thing we're missing. Um, what, what do we even need here? I just realized something. Uh, <laughs> can a corrupted crystal gain damage from uh, magic torch with the in, in, you know inflicting fatigue damage? Let me buy it just to see, because I really don't know. Oh no, it doesn't. Boo, boo. It's fine though. <laughs> It'd be kind of crazy if it did. Um, I don't even know what to buy here. Let's roll. Do we need anything? Cap of resilience? Just get another one? For no reason? For the reduced damage? For no reason? Eh, yeah, why not? Let's get it. And then we could put that on there for... Well, we don't inflict any debuffs, so... I guess we could just put it on the Falcon Blade. Just to increase... Literally increase the amount of damage we do. No, I know, right? It'd be crazy if it did, though. Increasing the amount of fatigue damage you do from the Corrupted Crystal. Look at this build. Double Bloodthorn. Super freaking uh, gems on him. 100% chance to hit. So our block doesn't matter. And then removing of buffs, which is going to be crazy for our luck. Um, and our mana. So we're not going to be able to activate the Books of Lights as fast. We still going to activate them. Just not as fast. You know what I mean? But he does have to worry about stamina. He has one. but oh, yeah, No, he has two bananas. Two bananas, and that's all his stamina usage. We definitely win this. He loses because of stamina. That's the only reason. Well, okay, 86. Okay, Book of Life, Book of Life. No! I can't believe we lost. That is crazy. Versus Double Bloodthorn? Even with no freaking stamina generation? Is it just that good? What, 34 poison? Full poisoned out, poison ivy. Double pineapple, blood goober. Oh, I'm so mad we lost. I blame it. Honestly, I blame it on this this um this gym. The hundred percent chance to remove buffs, meaning that we didn't have a hundred percent chance to crit, so our DPS wasn't as high, and it also removed our mana, so our book of lights couldn't uh, proc as much for survivability. So this gym alone made us lose. Still a good game though. Still a good game. That was a that was actually a fun bit. This might be a meta build. I'm thinking that's meta, bro. 